such are the problems with injuries and suspensions, Sligo Rovers manager Paul Cook found himself with just three substitutes on the bench as the side faced Cork City unbeaten in the last seven after turning around an indifferent start to Paul Doolan's reign. On a bright sunny evening at Turner's Cross, it was Sligo who had the first real chance. Roman Buck was shot though, pretty much straight at city keeper Dan Connor. These sides met on the opening day of the season and they played out a 1-1 draw at the showgrounds. But City are a better side now since that draw. And Pat Sullivan set up Joe Gamble, who side-footed over. Indeed, City got plenty of room down the right in the opening half. Colin Healy's cross was headed into Shane Duggan's path, but he too failed to find the target, left-footed from the edge of the area. Chances were at a premium in the opening 45. Sligo fullback Alan Keane got to the byline. And his cross caused all sorts of problems for the city defence. In the end, though, Steve Feeney's shot was blocked away to safety and it remained scoreless at the break. A fine city move almost produced the opener. Dennis Bean set up Duggan, whose shot squirmed under Richard Brush, but he was grateful for an alert Gavin Pearce, who was on hand to clear the danger. City kept up the pressure. Sullivan fed substitute Gunter Silagalis. Duggan dummied, and Colin Healy's shot ricocheted away off a defender's foot. But the pressure finally told on 68 minutes. Sullivan was fouled, but the play was allowed to go on, and Healy's cross was neatly headed in by the former Sligo player, Paderan Kudazovic. Indeed, it was the only goal of the night, as City kept pace with Bohemians, and delight for Kudazovic against his former club. Sligo, however, responded to the Cork goal and could well have equalised. Rafael Cataro's cross wasn't dealt with by Greg O'Halloran and Dan Connor saved a stinging shot by Brian Cash, who then sent the rebound over. Late on, Cataro tried to dink one over the city wall, but connor has been around too long to be fooled by that, and he easily pushed over to keep City ahead. In the end, a hard-fought 1-0 win for City, who remained three points off the top, and who stressed their unbeaten run to eight, as Sligo fell to the first defeat in five.